of the most useless inventions. Starting off with this bad boy, right? Oh, <laughs> for a second, I thought this was like an ad or something, but cries in Spanish. That's not really an invention, but um, it is kind of use useless because like if you could read, you can see that she's crying. So um, yeah, they built the staircase exactly as it was designed. I mean, they did, I guess. But like, what even goes through your brain? Like, how do you even build that? Why even build that? It makes no sense. Like, as you're building it, wouldn't you think like, oh, I can't get up this way. Pointless peephole. Oh, at first I was like, what do you mean? But they made a peephole when there's a big um, piece of glass that they could look through right here. Yeah, but the people adds more protection. Like, what if someone there is, has like a weapon? If you're like behind behind the people, like they can't get you, you know? <laughs> Diet water, because plain old water has too much calories. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess like diet water. Maybe that's just the name of the company, Diet Water. Like, good for marketing. Maybe they'll get some more sales. I would like to meet the planning committee who approved this. W what even is this? Stairs and like a walkway on the left for people who are in a wheelchair. But like, what? where does it lead to? What am I looking at? It's just a circle. Found this while looking for fridges at Sears. Why the blank, family friendly on this channel, does my fridge need Twitter? What is the case your phone's dead? This useless sign. Sidewalks ends in 20 feet. <laughs> if you walk until you see that sign, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I would hope that you see that it ends before the sign. But hey, you know what? I, I know some people who are pretty blind, so maybe that's that they see the sign, they're like, oh really? Does it actually end over there? But they should actually put the sign like 200 feet. But even at 200 feet, you could see that it ends. Sure, boss. The bus has all the seats in place. Oh, I get it. The front one has no room for your legs. Nice. Just sit sideways. Problem solved. This escalator has a purpose. Does it? Well, I mean, technically it does, because you get oh never mind. I was like, you could get there's like some 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 little I can't speak. There's some room to get off on the left side there. But I don't think there is. I think that thing's like this close to the wall. I guess you gotta jump. Again, who what goes through their brains? Let's just make an escalator that goes right into a wall. Like, come on. Probably the most useless watermelon in the world. Hey, well that's not a useless invention because it's it's made from the ground. I mean, technically it is an invention then. You can't do anything about it. You shouldn't have bought that one. Like, come on. In case of a fire. And they even built around it too. Like, what goes through their brain? Most pointless book ever? The most epic YouTube videos ever? Well, no, 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 no. That's not actually that. I mean, it is, but it's not that dumb and pointless. Look, it says QR codes included. Just scan and watch. So you're scrolling through the book. I mean, it's kind of useless, but I get the idea. You're scrolling through the book. I guess you're not scrolling because it's, it's, it's on paper, but you're um, scrolling through the book with your eyes and you come. Oh, look at that. That would be a pretty funny video. So you pull out your phone and then you watch it. The world's dumbest and most useless street sign. Sign is not sign not in use. It is in use, bro. If people could read the sign, then it's doing its job. Exactly. Somebody down here says, so it's in use, but it says not in use. I'm confused now. I'm confused too, bro. I'm with you. It's okay. They lied because the sign is in use because a sign is a sign. Like a sign says something, so it's it's being a sign. But why even put up the sign? Is it there so people can be like, yo, I want to buy that sign and put my own sign up on there? Like I don't get it. Pointless balcony. What's so pointless about oh, there's no way of getting out. Just for design. Not not that point. It's pretty pointless. You had one job, gate. Oh, hey, maybe maybe that gate used to be longer. But even if it was longer, look on the left side here. It like, goes way out. I'm sure you could have drove around it too, if it was longer. Oh, we got another pointless gate. Because you know the grass. You can't walk on grass. I received the most useless item ever at a golf tournament today. I mean, it's technically... Yeah, that, that would be pretty... I mean, if you hit that in the bush, it's gone. You never find it. Well, you could find it. But like, if it's just in the grass and you like see the brown, Sure, you could be able to find it. Hey, Joe, did you get that urinal and toilet installed? Sure did, boss. Hey, easy solution. Just put the door on the other side. Problem solved. But I could see someone make, making that mistake. I mean, yeah, because look, the sink is here on the left. And so if you have a sink and a door, it that does not work. So obviously the urinal was meant to be on that side where the sink is. Because I was going to say, well, maybe they installed the doors on the wrong side. But no, they installed the thingies in the wrong thingies. The door was already there. So I, I could see someone doing that. Just like, oh yeah, let's just throw it in, do, 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 do. And then you look and you're like, oh crap, wrong, wrong, wrong spot. Someone commented, probably this is from a country where the, you know what, are not private parts, but the butt is super private. We will never know. Is there a country that's like that? I would be shocked. Thank God, my feet were getting tired. Just climb over the, oh, <laughs> can't even climb over the fence. It's like got that sharp stuff what do you call that barbed wire hey maybe the bench was there and then they had to for i don't know privacy reasons or something well not privacy because you could see through it but like security reasons had to build a fence and they're like ah, screw it we'll just put it here pointless sign this product contains being <laughs> hey you gotta you gotta say man you never know nowadays people could like sue you if you didn't if you don't put that I, i'm sure of it like even though it's literally a peanut someone would be like oh it doesn't have peanuts in it and then they have allergic reaction and then they sue because there was no warning label so they're just being extra safe this guy just printed out a headlight <laughs> 
Hey, that's smart. Well, I mean, it's not smart because you're going to crash at nighttime. But technically, do not do this at home, guys. But technically, because I'm pretty sure it's illegal to like drive without a headlight. The cops will like pull you over. So this is this guy's just going, uh, he's just camouflaging himself. So the cops think he has a headlight. Until it comes nighttime and it, there's nothing coming out of it. Take a left and then bunny hop to your destination. Well, I mean, it ends. It's the end of the bike lane, I guess. I don't know. Does it keep going way back there? I don't know. That is kind of odd. Oh, but someone in the comment. This lane is in Budapest by some Petofri, Petofi bridge, but it might have been fixed since October 2015 when this photo was taken. Awesome. Thanks for the update, bro. Well, this is kind of a useless warning label. What does it say? Warning. Battery has been... <laughs> well, you never know. Because, like, maybe, like, your brother removes the battery. And you're like, why isn't this thing working? Why isn't my controller working? Or whatever this thing is. And so, you're, like, you're pushing things around. Do, 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 and it says the battery's missing. They're like, oh, well, the battery might, might go here. I mean, obviously, when these things are here, it means battery. Well, actually, if that thing wasn't there and no one told you this is for batteries, I mean, most people would know, but some people not. So it's not that useless. My dad found the most useless sign. Why is it so useless? It says Ontario, um, Rideau Heritage Route to Street. That route is also to the left and it's also to the right. Well, it's not backwards, so just letting you know you're in the area. There you go. How is this supposed to work? Wait, what? The handicap spot, but you cannot drive into it. Well, I mean, you could drive into it depending on what you have. Like this vehicle right here, this truck could get into it, but you're in a wheelchair. You're not going to be rolling over that. Somebody, oh, somebody said handicap bikes. See the tire entrance. Wait, handicap bike? Wait, was that supposed to be a joke? Because if you're in a wheelchair, I don't think you're biking. I'm assuming that was a joke. Let's install five sinks in this toilet just in case. So first of all, it looks to me that it's a like a private bathroom because there's only like a bathroom right from one person because there's only one toilet. So yeah, why the heck do you need five sinks? Just in case they all, like four of them are out of service, I guess. That was, oh, I'm talking really quick. The most pointless door ever. What? Who's getting in there? Something, there's something that leads in there. Look at that white white line going up. What's in there? I guess if you do some parkour, you go, nah, you can't, your, your arms and legs won't even be, be able to reach like that. You know, I'm sure you guys have tried that like in a hallway and you try to climb up like Spider-Man, but that's way too far. If you're up there, however you get up, oh, that's, this looks like an elevator. Elevator, so you go up, there but then you just can't use the door. Boom, problem solved. They just didn't renovate it yet. These practical drawers. Wait a second. I think they're they're usable. And you know why I think that? Oh, actually, no, sorry. I was looking at it wrong. It's It goes straight up. Originally, I thought it was like on an angle and I was like, look, it's on an angle, guys, but look at the top one. Look at how the, like the, what do you call that? Handle, the handle, lever, handle. We're gonna call it a handle. Look how the handle is like right beside the wall and the wall is on an angle. And look at how the bottom one is still right beside it. If it was on an angle, it would be cutting it off. So they obviously moved it to the side to make it accessible. But no, it's a straight up line. It's just make going sideways because of my eye, my eyes. No, just the way it was taken. Yeah, if that made any sense. And the award for the most pointless wiper blade goes to, wait a second, they're using it because as you could see, oh, that's just like dust, I guess. They're cleaning off the dust. I feel like that's like a, what do you call it? You know, like the two way mirrors, how like it's a mirror on one side, but you can see out it. I feel like that's what it is. You can't see them, but you can see out. This is the most useless use for a camping light ever. <laughs> it is. You need light to go on your laptop, especially while you're camping. Why are you on a laptop while you're camping? The grind never stops, I guess. But if you're on a laptop, there's light coming off, you could see. So yeah, that is pretty useless to show us that, but I mean, it's lighted up, so it's not that useless. This wonderful mug. Even after you design it, who puts it in the store? And even who after who puts it in the store, who buys it? Okay, maybe they didn't buy it. Maybe they're just looking at it in the store. But yes, they bought it. They're in, like laying in a blanket. Like they obviously did this for the jokes. So we think. So we hope. We hope. Let's go out on the balcony. Oh wait. Yeah, you could use those. I don't know why they would put them there, but you could use those. Wait, those aren't those aren't even doors anyway. Those are, those look like windows to me. Just climb out the window, do some little do do do, and you're in. Good, good to go. The most pointless invention ever. What is this? A pet petter, rechargeable for hotel use. Hotel use. Six D, D fleet pads included. Four speeds slash ha four hair lengths? Never touch your pet again. What's the point of having a pet? They're called pets for a reason, so you can pet them. All right, that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to slap the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.